everything you need to know about spiritual awakening, the universe, and your life's purpose. This is Jake Ducey with jakeducey.com and this makes life so much easier. And it's not what you think, but it sure does speed up the universe delivering amazing things into your life, giving you more clarity. So let's dive right into this video. If you haven't yet, make sure you hit the like button right over there and right over there. And let's dive into everything you need to know about your spiritual awakening here in 2020. So the first thing to truly have a spiritual awakening here to our maximum capacity, it all boils down to a really simple thing. And it's easy to do and easy not to do. That was what Jim Rohn once said. What's easy to do is easy not to do. So the first thing is letting go or overcoming or transcending our fear of death. This is the number one thing that stops people from ever truly being free when they're in this physical plane for this very short journey that we call life. Because you're a spiritual being in a physical body. You aren't a physical body. You are using one. Most people say, I have a soul. You don't have a soul. You are a soul. You have a body. You're a spiritual being in a physical body. And death is just a transition to a different bandwidth of frequency, to a different energy level. Because everything is energy and energy is never created or destroyed. So that means that there really is no such thing as death. We live in an ocean of motion. Everything is vibrating. Your body is just a mass of energy vibrating at a very high speed started off as a little tiny seed, tiny little body, eventually big person body, then it slowly starts to shrink back down and eventually, you know, if you let it naturally do its thing, the body slowly turns into dust one day in the very distant future. It's always moving, shifting, and the truth is we're so afraid of dying because we've been so attached to our physical bodies. And that's the world that we've created today. We're taught from a very young age a Newtonian model of physics. Newtonian model of physics was this very mechanical, third dimensional view of the world. We lived in a world of physical matter. This is a physical universe. Energy is this kind of uh, unexplainable effect of physical matter. But we live in a physical universe. And that was how we viewed the world. And quite frankly, it's a 100% incorrect statement. It's not, even a it's not even a debatable statement. Everything is energy. You actually are just an energy field. Albert Einstein showed us this with E equals MC squared. That basically said that energy and matter or energy and mass are essentially one and the same thing. Then we now know from quantum physics that even an atom and, and, and the physical building blocks of the universe are made of 99% empty space. So, I mean, how could this be physical? How could this be a physical experience? It's not. It's an experience that's all ha happening in your nervous system. That's what gives you the sensations that make this feel like a physical universe. But it all comes down to your nervous system. And what's your nervous system? Your nervous system is, is really a, an electronic switching station. That's really what it is. It's really just sending, a le it's an electrical transmitter. And instantly, at the speed of thought, which is instantaneous, you have electrical signals and interpretations that you're having instantly. And then they hardwire in your, into your neural networks, into your neurological aspects of your brain. They build the synaptic connections and they become the habitual ways you think and feel and perceive reality. After a while, we start getting attached to all these thoughts we're having in our head and we think, you know, we're this physical body and I'm having all these physical thoughts. And slowly what happens is we think we're this physical world. And we're then obviously afraid of dying because if you believe that you're a physical body, you're obviously gonna be afraid of dying because that's your very existence. <laughs> You know, when in fact it's not. I mean, to be honest, I look forward to the day that I transition, you know. I uh, think I still have a lot more to accomplish here on Earth, but you know, there's nothing to be afraid of. People don't like talking about this. You know, it's icky, it's negative, it's uncomfortable. Let's just not talk about it, okay? 
talk, tell me something that's like inspiring, right? But the truth is, this is the most inspiring and liberating thing that there is. And this is like what Buddhism is all about. I mean, the whole idea of Buddhism is, is recognizing that everything is transient and this is all temporary and it's all an illusion and, and that we don't need to be so attached to this world that we grip so tightly to it. That's why they say in Buddhism that that's what you grasp at constantly eludes you. And this is really a, a, a universal understanding that you are a soul. And when you recognize you are a soul, contrary to popular belief, facing the fear of death actually frees you in this life. Because once you recognize you have your soul, you're not afraid of death. And if you're not afraid of death, then you're certainly not afraid of life and all the aspects that come with our modern complex life. You certainly aren't afraid to go ask somebody you think is attractive is out. You certainly aren't afraid of getting in a relationship for fear that it won't work out because your parents got divorced and you watch a lot of people argue and ruin their relationships. Maybe your last relationship was super traumatic and so you're afraid to love again. You certainly wouldn't be afraid because if you're not afraid of dying, then you're certainly not be afraid of living and you certainly are gonna trust life surrender to life and allow the natural process of the universe to unfold in your brief uh, in your brief interval here in your journey of infinity your little brief one here in third dimension you're certainly not gonna be afraid of anything that involves in it and anything that comes about from it because why would you right so then the Fear of death frees you from all the other things in our world. It frees you from your mind. It frees you from the fear of failure. It frees you from the fear of what other people free think of you. It frees you from uh, wondering what's the purpose of everything because you understand that you are a soul and a body. So really just the purpose was for you to, to come forget that and then remember again. That's the journey of self-realization. It's forgetting who we are, thinking we're a body, being trapped in a physical world, then having self-realization or self-awakening. And what do you awake to? You awake to yourself as soul. And when you awake to yourself as soul, then you've accomplished the primary aspect of a spiritual awakening. That's what the word spiritual awakening means. It means to awaken the spirit. You yourself are spirit. You are one with spirit. There is a spirit, uh, an intelligence that is guiding and orchestrating this universe. It is on your side and you do live in a friendly universe. So that's the key here. And when we do this amazing thing, start to open up. So what I invite you to do is comment down below, I'm a spiritual being in a physical body. Comment that down below, I'm a spiritual being in a physical body. So this is Jake Ducey with jakeducey.com and in this video we're talking about everything you need to know about a spiritual awakening. So here's the thing, once we recognize this, then it comes back to what? Well, if all of that's being so, then what's the point of being here? And if we recognize ourselves as soul, then the next phase is that what's the difference between feeling good and feeling God or feeling good and feeling spirit? Well, Muktananda said that there's actually zero difference. Technically, there's one O, the difference between good and God, there's one O. So then the, the goal here is to feel good in this journey this time around, to stop our own suffering, to stop our own demands and controls that lead to our own miseries, to stop in our ideas of separation that, that make us feel alone, stop from our ideas of, a, of attachment to our own lim limiting belief systems about who we are and what we're capable of and are we good enough and all these things, we just let go of it all and we go, I intend to feel good. I intend to feel good. So if I'm spirit, then I'm, I'm going to create. If I look around and I want a different reality, I'm going to create it. I'm going to harness this electrical current that's moving through my nervous system, that's moving through my brain. I'm going to harness it. And because everything is energy, I can rearrange my physical environment. But more importantly, I'm going to be. I'm going to give love. I'm going to look around. I'm going to say, have I positively impacted somebody's life? And if I haven't, that's a great place to start. Nobody, not one person that I positively impact. Well, let me go see if I can set, if I can shed, if I can share, if I can send that spirit energy. And then ultimately, this is just the, the whole grace of life. So it comes down to a simple statement. I'm a spiritual being in a physical body. So thanks for watching this video. If you haven't yet, make sure you hit the like button right over there and right over there. The like button is what sends us out into the YouTube universe so more people see it. So if you wanna support my work and you wanna support this message and you enjoy it, just be sure you hit the like button real quick and leave a comment down below. These things actually do help the YouTube algorithm out. So if you enjoy it all, leave a comment down below, subscribe and hit the like button. Remember, you're a spiritual being in a physical body. I think today's gonna to be a great day. Lots of awesome things are unfolding right now in the universe. If you haven't yet, make sure you download 
download my free success hypnosis, it's right there down below. It's my free success hypnosis to reprogram your subconscious mind to eliminate all those uh, uh, illusion thoughts, those illusion self-constructs that we're so attached to and all these concepts of I'm this old and I have this thing and I have this problem and this is who I am and I'm too fat and I'm too skinny and I was never good in school. My, these are just all illusions and we can reprogram our mind to live from the truth. So right there down below is jakeshypnosis.com. It's in the description in the comments right there down below and it's my free success hypnosis to reprogram your subconscious mind. And the truth is some amazing things are gonna show up in your life once you do that, once you reprogram your mind. So be sure to check that out. It's jakeshypnosis.com. It's in the description in the comments right there down below and I'll talk to you later.